Hello and welcome to PE Academy. In this video, we are going to be looking at volume and total surface area of a force stream. So that means uh, how to calculate the volume and total surface area of a force stream. So I want to talk about a force stream. A force stream is gotten from a cone. So if we have a cone, so let's. This is our cone. If this part is cut off, this part is cut off. So that means it will form a force stream. Example of force stream is your funnel. So once this part is cut off, it forms a force stream. So our fo a force stream looks like this. So once you have this part cut off, let me see this part is off. So you also have another circle like this. So that's so this is a force stream. So you can see with this now we have two radius. We have we will have two radius. That this one a bigger radius, and here we have a smaller radius. So let's label it. And this part here represent the height of the force stream. So right here represent the length of the force stream. So this is how a force stream look like. So in calculating for the volume, the formula to calculate uh, for the volume of a force stream is 1 over 3 multiplied by pi times the height into brackets the major radius that is the bigger radius square plus the square of the smaller radius which is this radius plus r plus r that means the multiplication of this radius this major radius the bigger one and the minor radius so this is the formula to calculate the volume of a force stream. So the next formula we are going to be looking at is the total surface area. That is TSA. So TSA means total surface area is pi. Then open bracket. The major radius r square plus r square plus l into bracket r plus r and then the close the brackets so when calculate just know that this r the big capital letter r represents what the radius of the uh of the base or the larger circle whichever one since a force stream depending on what it is used for you can have this as a base this can also be the base but just know that the larger uh circle the radius of the larger circle is one in capital letter the small letter is the radius of the smaller circle and then the l is this this slant length and why this is the height so this is the formula for the volume and this is the formula for the total surface area so the next is that we are going to be looking at an uh, example where we are going to be looking for the volume and the total surface area of the force stream using these formulas so this example say a force stream with r the small letter r which is the small radius of the smaller circle 3 meter, the major radius of that of the bigger circle 7 meter, the height 12 meter, the length 15 meter. Find the volume and total surface area. So we're given the value of pi to be 22 over 7. So let's do this. So this is a very simple example where we just apply the formula and then we are able to get the, the both the volume and the total surface area. So I want you to attempt this question and let me know uh, if you are able to get the answer in the comment section below. So now let's start with the volume. So the formula for the volume of a force drum is 1 over 3 pi h, then capital R square plus small r square plus capital R and small r. So now let's put in our value. So that will be 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times our h which is our height is 12 times 12 so now let's open the brackets so our capital letter r our capital r radius is 7 that is 7 square plus then the small r is 3 that's 3 square plus so r plus r that is 7 times 3 and then let's close it So that will be 
1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 12. So let's open it. So 7 squared, that's 49. Plus 3 squared, that will give us 9. Then plus, so 7 times 3, 21. So let's continue. So let, let's just continue here. So that will be 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 12 times so 49 plus 9 plus 2 plus 21 rather not 2 7 times 3 21 so that will give us 79 79 so let's continue here so by the time we multiply 22 so let's multiply 22 times 12 times 29 I mean 79 rather so 22 times 12 times 79 so 22 times 12 times 79. So that will be okay. So that will give us 20,856 divided by. So what is in the denominator here is just 7 and 3. So that's 7 times 3, 21 by 21. So if you divide 20,856 divided by 21. So what we'll get is 993.14.14. So we are dealing with volume and then we are the unit we are using is in meter. So 993.14 meter square. So with that we've been able to get the volume of the force strong with giving all these parameters. So the next thing we are going to be calculating for is the is the total surface area. So this is the next thing we are looking for. This is the volume we've already gotten the volume. So the next thing is to calculate the total surface area. So let me clean this so that we can use the space. So to calculate the total surface area of a force drum, the formula is pi open bracket capital R square plus small r square plus L into brackets capital R plus small r and then we close it so let's so let's put in the values so our pi is giving us 22 over 7 and then let's open this bracket our r is 7 so that's 7 square plus our small radius is 3 square plus our length is 15 plus 15 open bracket r so that'll be 7 plus 3 that's the two radius so we can close it so that would be 22 over 7 7 squared that's 7 times 7 that's 49 plus 3 squared that's 3 times 3 that's 9 plus so 15 multiplied by so 7 plus 3 is 10 so 15 multiplied by 10 that will give us 150 so let's continue so let's continue here. So here we have 22 over 7. Open brackets. So let's add these values together. So 49 plus 9 plus 150. So that will give us 208. So we can also write this as 22 times 208 over 7. So now let's multiply 22 by 208. So that will give us 4,576 over 7. So if you divide 4,576 divided by 7, we'll be having 653.71. So we are looking for surface total surface area. Our unit will be in what? In square. That is meter square so this is how to calculate uh this is the application of the formula for the total surface area of a force room so you can see that it's, it's, uh, it's very simple to calculate the volume and total surface area of a force room provided you know the formula and you apply it very well so just make sure that when you are calculating or when you are solving it you pay attention to you uh to the um, to the addition of all these figures so that you don't mix them up you don't mix them up in the addition in the multiplication of everything so that you don't mix them up. But once you mix any of the values up or any of the step, 
then you might have a wrong answer. So with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you are yet to subscribe to PE Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos. We release videos uh, almost every day. And then if you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Kindly share this video and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.